Omer and Oliver, and a super a delicious recipe from the award-winning author and illustrator Maria Dadush and Dalil Zaini. And be generous as Allah has been generous to you. Omar was excited because his neighbor Oliver was coming to sleep over. The next day would be Eid, the most martial amazing day of the year. The two boys were about to start a car race when Judy burst into the room and said, Can you believe it? My friend Rewa gave me her famous super Eid delicious cookie recipe. She waved a bright yellow sheet of paper in her hand. Rewa is the best cookie cook in the whole entire world and when I follow this recipe, I'll be the best cookie cook in the whole entire world too. We want to be the best cookie cooks in the whole entire world too, said Oliver. Just share this super delicious cookie recipe with us and we'll help you with it, said Omar. No, 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 said Judy. Did Judy decide to keep the recipe to herself? One moment later, Omar and Oliver found themselves kicked out of the kitchen. We need that recipe. It would taste Christmas delicious when I celebrate Christmas with my family, said Oliver. Omar answered, then let's get it. Let's start mission I delicious recipe. Omar and Oliver hurried outside. Omar reached inside the kitchen window and his fingers crawled to where the recipe was. But did he get it? Stay away from my super a delicious cookie recipe, shouted Judy, and she shut the window. But Omar had another idea. He fished his binoculars out of his jungle explorer kit, peeped at the recipe and dictated to Oliver. One large egg, half a cup of... But Oliver could not write fast enough. And suddenly... Stay away from my super a delicious cookie recipe, shouted Judy again. And she hid the recipe under the umbrella they kept near the front door. I never thought that a cookie recipe could be so hard to get. Oliver complained. Let's give up. But Omar pulled Oliver's arm and said, Not yet. Omar was the best drawn pilot in the world, and soon he and Oliver would be the best cookie cooks too. The camera in the drawn is filming the recipe now, he said. And we don't have to write a word, said Oliver. But when Omar connected the drone's camera to the TV screen, a sad surprise was waiting for them. The handwriting is too small, said Oliver. I knew I needed a camera with a better zoom, said Omar. It was time to give up. Oliver said, let's play Cookie Buster on our iPads. But before the monster busted his second draw of cookies, Omar saw Judy rushing out of the kitchen. Let's see if she left the recipe behind, he whispered to Oliver. But did she? No, she did not. The countertops were empty, the trash was empty, and even the tea kettle was empty. They both stared at the cookies inside the oven, so puffed, so round, and so golden brown. These cookies are about to burn, shouted Oliver. Good, said Omar. Now Judy will be the best cookie burner in the whole entire world. He was about to leave the kitchen with Oliver when the sign on the fridge door stopped him. 
A few minutes later, Judy rushed back into the kitchen shouting, My poor cookies! And when she found them cooling on the counter, she gave a big sigh of relief. We told mom to take the trays out at just the right moment, said Omar. Judy smiled and said, Thank you for saving my cookies. She pulled two cards out of her pocket and gave them to Omar and Oliver. The sign on the fridge reminded me that Eid is about sharing and caring, so I hurried out to copy the super delicious cookie recipe for you and forgot about the oven. Then the three kids made more and more and more batches of cookies. At dawn, it was finally Eid. Everyone at the mosque munched their way through the cookies until the Eid prayer started. These cookies are truly super Eid delicious, mom said. And you three must be the best cookie cooks in the whole entire world, added dad. Eid Mubarak.